Another important skill to learn when working with objects is the ability to align and distribute them. When several objects are selected, you'll notice that these objects are not lined up with their tops or bottoms. Now I could create a grid and slowly move each one to align them, but an easier way to do this is to use the align features. These features are found in the align panel, but they can also be found up here in the control panel. They're fairly easy to use. Simply select the objects that you want to align and then choose the alignment options. The different align buttons include aligning horizontally to the left and to the right or to the center or vertically to the top or bottom or to the center. So to line up these three objects so that their tops are aligned, I simply need to select the vertical align top. This will move all of the objects so that they are aligned to the current bounding box. If I were to select the three icons beneath here, I could do the same thing by aligning their bottoms using the vertical align bottom button. There are also options that you can choose using this drop down list to align not only to the selection, which aligns to the bounding box between all those selected objects, but also to align to a key object. For example, if I have these three objects selected and I click on one that I want to be the key object, notice that it is highlighted in blue, indicating that this is the key object. Now when I choose my alignment option, it's going to align so that this key object doesn't move. For example, if I do a vertical align top, normally all of the objects would align to the bounding box up here, but with the key object selected, a vertical align top will move the outside to so that it is aligned with the top edge of the key object. This gives you a lot of power in being able to identify which object is in the correct position and moving others to associate with it. In addition to selection and key objects, I can also choose to align the objects to the artboard. With this option enabled, then selecting vertical align top will move all of these objects so that they are aligned along the top edge of the artboard, like this. We can also align them along the vertical bottom edge or center them as needed. If one object is selected, align to our artboard option is enabled, and I choose the center objects for both, this will align the object perfectly to the center of the artboard, as shown here. In addition to aligning objects, The Align panel also has several options for distributing objects. When objects are distributed to the selection, what they do is they take the first and the last objects and leave them in position and then equally space all of the remaining objects so that they are equal distance between. For example, if I horizontally distribute the center of these objects, then notice how they shift so that there is an equal distance between them all. Now if I were to take this object and move it out further and reselect all of these objects, I could do a distribute again and it would move the center ones so that they are aligned between the two objects. If I choose a key object, then I can click on an object to be my key object and by using this show options, panel menu option, I can come in here and select a specific spacing for all the objects that I want to distribute. Then if I do a horizontally distribute, then all of the items are lined up in reference to my key object which doesn't move according to the space which I have indicated here. I can change that space and reorder if I want. And they will all be lined up. Once again, using a key object, I can control precisely the distance between each object, either horizontally or vertically, using this option. I can also select to align to the artboard, which, if I do a horizontal distribution, will move the object on either end so that they're touching the boundaries of the artboard, 
and regularly distribute all of the other objects in between. This will work even if I have objects that aren't vertically aligned, such as these here. Distribute will move the spaces between them. Then to line them up, I only have to do a vertical align to selection and vertically align center, and all the objects are aligned with equidistance between them. It's also interesting to note you can select multiple points and align them as well. With the four top points selected here, I can do an align vertical top to line up these four points. I can also select a couple points here and do an alignment as well. In this way, I can align points just as I can objects. And if I select a key anchor, the anchor point will be the last point that I select. So with the direct selection tool, I can select these two, hold down the shift key, and select this one. This will be my key anchor. And if I align to the bottom, these points will move to align to it. Learning to align and distribute objects is a great technique to master as you learn to lay out and organize all of your different objects into a consistent and orderly piece of artwork.